Damn, Slocky, I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna upload a part two. But let's go to the book of Micah, chapter 7, and verse 18. It says, Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by transgression of the remnant of Slocky, of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth Slocky, he retaineth not Slocky, my bad. It says, he retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. You understand? And guess what? The remnant is those people that's going to essentially get that mercy and those, you know, that hope and that salvation. You understand? But who is a God like that? Because no other, first of all, there's no other God. We understand that from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 5. But the most high God is necessary that he is like that because he made man. He made man to be a right. But guess what? He also made them to go to hell off to seek out weakened imaginations you understand from the time of adam the evil grain of man was sold the evil grain was sold in man so how much more evil shall come a pass until the times that we living in right now you understand but yet the most high is still merciful to pardon if the iniquity to kind of let that joint slide you and the world kind of wink at that joint you understand but now command you to repent you know what I'm saying? allow you to come back to the most high right and that's all that mercy right who's to say we allowed to be alive and breathing right now the most high still got the heavens and the seasons come to buy, come come past, you know what I'm saying? And we got the sun and the moon. All these other things, man, these creations, these small things. The smallest things you can think of is these the smallest creations. Oh yeah, how about Shimmy Osha that that are here today? You understand? Think of Paul. Think of Paul. Why the hell look at Paul? He started as a murderer. A lot of us, a lot of us, some of us, a lot of us wasn't no damn murderers, you understand? Imagine you murdered somebody last week, huh? You came into the truth next month. Like, come on. That's mercy. That's nothing but mercy right there. You understand? That is nothing but mercy from the Heavenly Father. And then we cannot, we can never overlook that thing. It's impossible, man. You cannot overlook the mercies from the Heavenly Father that He continually bestows upon us. Right now, let's go to that. Let's talk about Paul real quick. Let's go to the book of uh, 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 1 Timothy, chapter 1, uh, and verse 12. Right? This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1. This is 1 Timothy. Kind. I'm going to go to the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, and verse number 12. It says, And I thank Hamashiach, Hawashah, our Lord, who hath enabled me for that, Slucky, for that he counted. Slucky, my bad. It says, And I thank Hamashiach, our Lord, who hath enabled me. Right? It says, For that he counted me faithful. Putting me into the ministry, right? So you thank you, Howard Shah, our Lord, for putting us into this ministry, even though you was an adulterer, a fornicator, a murderer, a, a theft, you understand, an extortioner, whatever you may have been, a reviler, a fighter, you had an anger demon on you, whatever it may have been. We thank how much you have Shah for putting us into this truth, allowing us to watch videos, and allowing us to, you know, allowing us to watch videos, make videos, exhortate call upon our brothers, call upon our sisters, love our wives, and love our brothers, and love the nation. And we pray that he continues to lift us up as a nation. You understand? Verse 13, it says, Who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious. You understand? Because some of us, we used to be fighters. Some of us, we used to have a real bad anger, you know, anger, quick to anger, whatever it may have been, spread on us. And again, we thank the Most High for allowing us to deliver us from these certain demons and temptations and evil spirits that the most high had stuck to us uh, you know what i'm saying as a uh, as a vessel of the most high and we continue to thank the house how much he allowed us to refuse some of these things some demons we don't have no more a lot of people hey, they cast off that weed demon a lot of people they cast off that lust demon a lot of people they cast off that idolatry spirit you understand let's read on it says but i obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief, man. You understand? And that's all you. That's all it comes down to, is belief in the mercy, is 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 the knowledge of the truth. You understand the knowledge of the truth and the belief in the mercy and the love from the help by Shimei Osha. Because in the world you didn't know and you had no faith in the right things. Why? Because it was preached to you a wrong way nine times out of ten. But as soon as it was preached to you that right way, you kind of latched on. You heard on to it. You understand? And this is a prayer of our nation that we continue to boost our faith in the mercies and the blessings and the many other things that Yahweh Hashem has in store and in store for us for all matter of salvation and love. You understand? Let's give one more. Let's give one more precept in the book of um, 
uh, uh, let's go to the book of uh, Luke, chapter 6. But right, look at Epaphroditus, man. Apa like we touched on earlier, Epaphroditus was nigh to death. You understand? Nigh to death, and he knew the truth. He knew the truth, but guess what? He wasn't saying, oh, this is judgment. Oh, I didn't do something wrong. Let me go back into the world. No, he was still striving, still pushing, still going hard to be, you know what I'm saying? To push for the Lord, man. And the Lord had mercy on that, man. Right? You can be sick nigh to death, but guess what? The Lord going to get you back up. And stop thinking sick nigh to death is just a damn corona, man. It's just something physical. Things, things are spiritual as well. You might be down bad on your luck when you don't feel like reading. You don't feel like praying. You find yourself not praying. You tell yourself you're going to pray and you damn forget. Right? You sick nine to death when you're on a spiritual level as well. But guess what? When you when you put forth all your might, man, you you get back up and you say, nah, man, I ain't going down that way. The most I can grant you mercy in that way. You understand? When you actually go, you, you strive your best to do the right things, as it tells you in the book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 7. Okay, like it tells you in the book of Tobit, chapter 12 and verse 7. I'm going to close with that precept in Tobit. Well, uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 6. And I want verse number 36. Luke 6 and 36 says, Be therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. And I also pray that Israel as a nation continues to be merciful unto one another, man. All manner of love, peace, and tranquility, man. I hope that we stop hating each other, and I hope that we continue to love each other. All right? I hope that we can, uh, the, the Most High allows us as a nation to stop bearing grudges on one another. You understand? And allow us to continue in, in, continue in mercy, love, peace, and tranquility uh, in, in, a, in a brotherhood and in a sisterhood and in all marriages across, across the nation. All right? This is the book of Tobit, chapter 12. Tobit chapter 12. I want to read verse 7. You understand? Tobit chapter 12. Number seven, so lucky. I'm all over the place. But we're gonna get this last precept. Tobit 12 and 7 says, It is good to keep close the secret of a king, right? But it is honorable to reveal the works of God. It reads, Do that which is good, and no evil shall touch you, man. So, brothers and sisters, you gotta continue to do that which is good. And remembering the mercies and remembering the love and the tranquility and the peace that Yahweh has for us as a nation and remember the importance of it when we showing it to our brothers and our sisters within our nation, showing it to our wives, showing it to our husbands, you understand? Remember these simple things and keep your head on straight and continue to cease, I mean, continue and never cease to do evil. I mean, never cease to do good, man. Never cease to do good, but continue to do good and depart from evil. As the scriptures say, man, Yahweh Shemayashah, Shalom.